Hello YouTube fans, I'm making this video in regards to the AT&T U-verse and how you can um, set up your own router because the built-in router in the AT&T U-verse is a G router which can only go up to 54 megabytes per second so if you prefer you can set up your own router which you can get an N router which can go up to 300 megabytes per second so um, pretty much it's pretty simple I had to do a lot of research but I came across some good things and um, what I did is uh, let me just show you what kind of router I got here's the router that I got it's um, it's a Linksys E3000 which um, it has the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz interface so because most um, items in the house like a microwave, home phone, refrigerator, most other phones they run on a 2.4 gigahertz interface so there's a lot of traffic so this one has the 5 gigahertz so it runs on its own pretty much interface so there's less traffic and you can get the maximum speed possible so pretty much what you what you gotta do first is you connect on the back of mine it has a yellow Ethernet port which says internet you connect that onto the to port one of your AT&T U-verse uh, modem slash router and that's the first setup then you go into your AT&T U-verse IP address which is uh, by default it is 192.168.1.1 four. Take a look at that. In case you didn't get it, it's that. Enter, and this is what you should get. So the first thing you gotta do is go under services. Oh my settings. Then right here where it says event notifications, you press on that, and then there's a thing right here that says enable detection of router behind router connection you want to click on that and then save it and then it will probably ask you for um, um, password most likely the password is the the system password that's located at the bottom of your um, AT&T U-verse router so you just type that in it's I think a series of ten numbers it is not your act your first password it's the one underneath You'll, you'll you'll figure it out so it's one of those you type that in and then it'll save the configuration and then what you want to do after that is because they'll both be interfering with one another you want to turn off you want to turn off the the wireless of your two wire AT&T U-verse so you're gonna go under home down here where it says wireless you press on that and then right here see I have it disabled you it's the wireless interface you disable that that way it's not interfering and it's not constantly trying to connect to one another you want to use your new router so you want to disable the wireless built-in from the AT&T U-verse and that's simple so you just disable that everything else should be disabled SSID broadcast I don't know if that's different for you guys but you can disable that too and then you go down here save changes and then it'll ask for the password again which is located somewhere look right here uh, you type that in and it will save that now you go into your settings for your new router which for Linksys it's 192.168.0.1.1 but since I changed it because I didn't want interference between the built-in uh, router of the AT&T U-verse and the uh, and the new router, I just changed mine to a custom at the end with a point three. That brings you to the. It asks for the username and whatnot. You can just uh, for mine it's. Uh, you know, So make sure you know your new router's user and password. Okay, so that is the configuration for the new the new router. So that's pretty much all the stuff um, you get to choose. This is where I changed my IP address right here. I added a three at the end and also down here. 
um, then you can go down here you can save the changes pretty much the DDNS that that should be disabled you can go under uh, wireless um, you can set up your password whatnot right here everything right here you can change these but I would just leave them on default everything else should be good and then let's see advanced wireless let's administration over here you can also go firmware upgrade so you can go into the home the support page of Linksys and get it and then you can browse it and then use it so access restrictions storage security I'm trying to find you guys firewall VPN store let's go status wireless networks see how it's under 5 and 2.4 I believe it chooses the best one router okay and that should pretty much do the job um, this should be make sure your firewall of your computer lets you do lets you do the new router mine just I have AVG which lets me it just automatically did it for me but that should be pretty much it if you guys have any questions you could email me and I will try to get back to you uh, it is my personal email so and please leave uh, positive feedbacks thanks